Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at regular lipo packs versus Lion packs. Now this topic is really only important to a long range FPV pilot. Now you may be a freestyle pilot or a racer and you like to do a little long range. Uh -huh. And if that's the case, so be it, have fun. But why this topic is important is because this battery here, which is a LiPo 6 cell 2250, and this pack here is a Lion 6S 4000 milliamp hour pack. And the reason why this is important is because this pack is $50 and this pack is $85. This is nearly $100. Hundred? Am I holding it upside down? I am. It's upside down. This pack is nearly a hundred dollars. So that's important because if you're gonna fly long range without spending this kind of money, you may want to know which pack should I buy? Should I get the 18650 style Lions or should I get the Lipo style? So in this video, we're gonna find out. Let's go. All right, pilot, so here's the deal. Very simple, cut and dry. I am not going to do anything scientific. I'm just gonna take the two packs, strap them to the same quad, and fly them around. And we're gonna find out what kind of difference are we getting. If you are not familiar with a Lion pack, this is just like what you see with 18650s. It's pretty much these type of batteries. You may be familiar with vapes or goggles or maybe your radio takes them whatever all types of things take these batteries now lion packs come in different sizes they're not always 18650 for example this one is a 21700 and you may see that right there now that just means that the battery is a little bit bigger but so is the capacity you're not going to get that huge amp draw from a lion like you would from a lipo but if you're long ranging you don't need that kind of power you don't need that type of amperage you need to coast and cruise for as long as possible the last thing i'm going to cover about this battery just so you're somewhat knowledgeable now is right here somewhere it should say 6s1p there are other lithium ion packs that may read 6s2p and what that means is how many are ran in series. So this is 6S1P. That means there will be six individual cells inside of here. If this was a 6S2P, that would mean that there were 12 cells inside of here. And that is how you can find out because if they ran in parallel or in series, we'll decide your cell versus voltage count. All right, so that's enough for the lesson of the day. Let's go ahead and get rolling. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strap the LiPo to the quad and the quad of choice is this seven inch recon drone. If you are interested in a good, decent, FPV long range frame. I will put a link for this down in the video description, but I have most recently reviewed this guy and we had a blast. You are not going to want to miss that. If you haven't seen it, jump down there, check that video out and let's head for the clouds. User error. Please replace user and try again. Hmm. You're we're running Crossfire Diversity for range, and we are running a 800 Zeus VTX for video. We do have GPS rescue on board, so if things get hazy, I will pull the trigger. Say I won't. All right, here we go. Well, for whatever reason, I'm not getting satellites, and I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay. When, when I disarm, I'll know the total arm amount of each battery. Now, we saw how punchy it was with the LiPo, right? Because LiPos are punch, but look. Oh, that kind of dropped the battery down, but. 
All right, so I am on my porch surrounded by concrete, so I don't expect nothing crazy for video, but Okay, so as you'll see, it's reading and telling us low battery, land now, blah, blah, blah. That is because the OSD is under the impression that I'm running a LiPo. Oh, they're building a new house. Look at that. Did they notice me? You think they noticed me? I am not really going above half throttle, but it is a long ranger with seven inch props, so she's cruising. Look at that. I'll tell you what, this thing's a lot of fun. Hopefully I don't wreck it. Try to actually keep it moving. Video's pretty good for nothing but concrete around me. Now we're getting quite a bit of amp draw on this guy that we normally wouldn't get on like a, a Lion battery. Yes, my neighbors probably hate me.
so with the way that I'm flying this guy, it's probably not the most accurate, but that's like we talked about. This is not a scientific test. I just want to know, if you grab the two packs, you know, double the price and just have some fun flying, what kind of results can you expect? Is it going to fly twice as long? Is it going to fly half as long? Is it going to fly just one or two minutes more? And then at that point, you, instead of the label, can decide if you would like to spend an extra 40 bucks on an extra 180 seconds. So that is why I'm doing this test. Now, if we say 2 times 6 is 12 plus a half, that's 6. It's somewhere around like 17, 18 volts we need to come down. We're holding strong at 20 volts right now. Whoo, pretty impressive, huh? I have no idea how long we've been flying, but these are low KV motors, but I mean, look at that. Still got plenty of punch. I'm pretty sure we just hit 10 minutes. It's actually flashing now. The quad's like, what are you doing? 10 minutes, something's wrong. But guess what? We're still cruising like a bruising. And then punch wise, I think I still have plenty. Yep. The beeper's not happy. And of course, our, you know, as your voltage drops, your KV drops, so keep that in mind. But look, still feels perfectly fine. And if we were just a cruising, there you go. You'd be just like this, cruising like a bruising. So totally dead is two and a half per cell. So there's six cells, two and a half times six is 15, right? I think so. So I think you're still good. Now we didn't run, we did get under 21 by a little bit with the lipo but not by much Whew, I need a break man there's a lot of flying on one battery Ugh, there's a lot of flying on one battery pretty impressive alright we're at 17 volts Still got the punch. Surprised I haven't crashed by now. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? 16? 16 volts. 17. Now I'm trying to keep the risk factor down. Okay, I'm at 15. 
and it is feeling a little bit not as strong 14 okay it's time to land I mean I still got punch I'm gonna keep it low all right I'm cruising around almost 75% throttle oh I hit a gate with a 7 inch okay we're about to blow this battery up let's bring it in guys impressive Woo! total arm time 11 minutes and 43 seconds my my eyeballs hurt from flying that long in one passing holy macaroni this guy is hot I might have pushed it a bit let's see what our temp is and we are at a hundred about a hundred and fifty four degrees can you see that at least on the drain man test of how long can the battery last freestyling in your backyard you've got your answer I hope this video was helpful I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one